to do with the ongoing protests and of course uh, having the opposition claiming uh, the, uh, the, the government. I have no other explanation to give because all of these things are flowing in a row. I have uh, a whole minister of government staying there that is going to do I don't know what in front of my mother's house. I have uh, people who have been guarding my mother for the last almost 50 years withdrawn at night. I have now a situation where my son's home is being raided for things that I don't understand. So I ask myself, what does this government want? Because if it wants me, the fact that I've been silent doesn't mean I'm scared. Come for me. Why do, what, what does my mother have to do with anything? What does uh, my children have to do with anything? Come should they enemy mean me? I'm here. Right? Yeah? They know where I am 24-7. Right? Why, why all this? Intimidate a 90-year-old woman. Intimidate children. Right? If it is me you want, what, come and tell us what you want. Yeah. Mr. President, you have been claiming that uh, you are behind the Azimio Moja protest and you are funding the protest. Perhaps, what do, how do you reply to these statements? You tell me, right? And I have said it severally. And that's why I keep saying, maybe silence sometimes is, is not right. Yeah? But I have ignored it because I have asked myself, how? How? Yeah? What do the, the issues that Kenyans are talking about have nothing to do with me? All right? Have you seen me in any of those events? Have you seen me talk about any of those events? Yeah? Now if you say that because of my association with Raila, am I not supposed to talk to my friends? Is that a crime in Kenya today? Yeah? Is that a crime? Maybe you should tell me. If it's a crime, maybe you should say, oh, it is a crime to associate with this individual. With this. I thought the only crime was to associate with terrorists. So are you telling me that they are terrorists? Then, because then that, that would be the only argument you would have. Or bank robbers or something. Right? Yeah? But I thought we lived in a democracy. In Kenya. I thought, I believed. Yes? And that's why I handed over whatever. I may not have supported this government. Yes? But I accepted the will of the people, didn't I? You all saw me in broad daylight. Was I forced into that field? Right? See, I did what I was supposed to do. So, what, 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 what else do you want? Probably, uh, are there any steps you're going to take after this from this uh, particular yeah, incident? This incident, I leave to the lawyers. Because they should tell me what they want with my children. Yeah? Do they want? They've removed their security. Now I hear they want to remove their, their personal weapons. So what? Are they wanting to do that because they are planning something? And if they are planning something, yeah, my only plea, don't plan against my mother, don't plan against my children, plan for me. If it is me you want, leave them alone. What do they have to do with anything? Yeah? How many people are licensed to hold weapons in this country? Yeah? Did they not follow the right procedure? Tell us. Tell the world. 